In today's video, I used the Memory Keepers Pocket Punch Board. It was my tool that I haven't used. And I made a tag and an embellishment. Stay tuned for details. And day 10 of our October Daily. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with another video for our October 2020 Junk Journal Challenge. This is our one more time challenge where we're repeating September and we are all about breaking through our stash or busting our stash. So um, we are on the letter T and the letter T we need to use a tool that we haven't used in a while or that we haven't used before and we are to make a tag and a embellishment so I am going to use my pocket punch board I have never used it before um, so that is going to be my my tool that um yeah it was still in the packaging i did get it out of the packaging because you know you, you didn't need to <laughs> grin and bear that okay so um really cool one of the things you want to make sure that you go ahead and open out your punch board okay so it has these two arms that you're going to go ahead and pull out you'll notice underneath we have a scoring uh, bone folder and we also have our guide okay so we are going to go ahead and take out our guide and this paper is four and a half inches wide so I want to pick something I'm doing it backwards I'm gonna pick it by the size of paper I have um, you can do it by the size of paper that you have or the size of pocket that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to four and a half by, let's do four and a half by six. Okay, so four and a half by six. And I'm actually going to need two of these. So let's do that real quick. We'll go ahead and cut the second one because we need one for an embellishment and one for a tag. Okay, four and a half by six is what I am going with. I have, this is my Recollections cutter. It cuts through several um, pieces. That's why I, why I added that to my um items that I my tools okay so I have uh, a genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus but a molder of consensus the price of greatness is responsibility so these are from my quote 365 quote um, <laughs> notepads and I get those at Staples and I like to buy them when they're on sale okay so um, We'll go ahead and we need to figure out our size. So we are four and a half by five. We're going to be making a pocket that's 2.25 by four. And, um, or if we want to make it with a flap, it can be two by two, two, five by three. Three, five. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to make it with a flap. Okay, so that is B1. B1, we're going to go ahead and now we have these little guys. And this one wants us to be at B. So the letters are over here. Your arrow needs to be pointing that way. Okay, and one. B and one okay then we're gonna go ahead and we uh, put our paper in how does it say it okay we placed our guides into our slot position paper under track first chart measurement 
should be placed under the numerical guide. Second chart measurement should be placed under the alphabetical guide. Okay, so our first one is our, you know what? I ended up with six inch, so we need to make sure that we're in the six by four and a half is C2. Okay, sorry about that. I was gonna do four, four and a half by five, but we did four and a half by six. So C2, C2. Okay, and so our six is going to be underneath here because that's our underneath, the, these are the numbers, right? So first chart measurement should be placed under the numer numerical guide, second chart measurement under this. So um, our first chart measurement for what we want to build is six, Okay, so we're gonna put the six underneath that. It's six here, 4.25 here. Okay, and then we're just gonna take our little cutter. There's the cutter, there's the guide. Put our guide in and it will cut that out for us. And we're gonna go ahead and go all the way around, okay? Okay, now we could go ahead and fold our, before we turn it. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our bone folder. You see we've got this long space here. The one thing I love about the memory keepers, you know, I love it when you have something, oh, you want to make sure you're, you're straight or you're going to end up with a little indent okay okay so now we're going to turn this this way with our six which is the first one is going to be there okay and go ahead put our little dilly bobber in the guide Oop. turn Dilly bobber in the guide and So this is going to give us our little pocket with a flap. Go ahead and put everybody back where they go. Okay, so here we go. If we want lines on it on the outside, then I can put lines on the outside. And we're just going to make this little tiny pocket. Okay. And I love pockets and I cannot lie. So there you go. You have made, or I have, we have made our very own coin envelope. And of course, you can go ahead and use your corner rounder and round the corners if you want to. Um, so, yeah, I love that. Okay, so then you just go ahead and glue down your flaps if you want to. Okay, and I do. I want my flaps glued, so I'm going to glue, put glue on the edge of this one and the edge of that one and across the bottom where I think that that's going to touch. Okay, and then just right up here. And flap it, flap it up. Okay, so there we've got our very own a little pocket with a flap. How simple was that? We'll be able to use that. Now we need to have a smaller one. And so this time I'm going to go ahead and put this in in the other direction. And we'll go ahead and use our guide. And we'll turn it. Oh, 
Okay, this is our guide. Oh, this is going to be very little. This is not going to work. Okay, let's see what we did. Uh huh. Okay, so we need to cut. We need to cut us another another dilly bobber. It's okay. So this is the one of them that I have. Great thought of day. You've seen me use these before. I have a couple. I have a couple different ones. Some are white paper and some are cream colored. So that's the difference there. Okay, so we have four and a half. We need, there are no four and a half for the first. So we need to cut our four and a half down. So let's go ahead and cut our our other measurement first. Okay, so we'll cut our five first. And then we'll come in and cut this down to four. So this one's gonna be four by five. Okay. I don't think I need to save any of these little pieces. You can save them if you want to, but I'm getting inundated with paper again. Okay, so four by five and we don't have a four by five. Four pi, four point seven five, four and three quarters. <laughs> okay. We're getting a workout here. Four by. Four and three quarters. Okay, so it's a good thing we know how to turn a decimal into a fraction. <laughs> okay, four by four and three quarters. That one's that one right there. We need to reset this to A. A is right here. Okay, so we got A and one. So A1, and this time we're going to go ahead and... We're going to do it this way, okay? So, oh, wrong one. Here it is. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put our little cutter and cut the edges, turn it, and cut in the, in the little groove there, okay? Now, line it up, line it up. So line it up against the that and this and go ahead and score it. Okay, and then you turn and put your little guide in the water slide there. Your guide in the slide and then turn it. Okay, I have a feeling this one is not straight. Okay, here we go. Let's 
we're gonna put this one up and we need the bone folder bone folder in the in the slot and score it here okay okay so let's come over here because this is definitely out of whack up here I don't know what happened but we'll fix it okay there we go that's the thing is you got to make sure that you're all straight and keep putting that back in there because you don't want to poke yourself with it or lose it okay so this one has a flap also okay now what I was thinking with this is because I did make this one right before right before class and I was thinking with this one we could just go ahead and cut it shorter okay like this we can go ahead and glue this because remember we need an embellishment okay so I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the edge of this side and glue on the edge of this side and close it and then close the bottom okay so this is again the uh, pocket punch board by we are memory keepers I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the description box down below and don't forget Amazon Prime Day is October 13th and 14th so you know it's usually in July but they postponed it and it is this week October 13th and 14th so um, yeah so that is the tool for today that we're using now we're gonna go ahead and make our embellishments now there is also the little punch up here and so I want to use that will this go around it or do I have to yeah I have to punch the whole thing I probably should have punched it before we glued it right right so let's put that in there oh look it's got a guide okay so the a guide the B guide the C guide D guide E guide so there's my a Okay, so you just put it in there and punch. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at, is that not so cute? And we can have it this way. I, I think I like it lined just for something different. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on this flap and some glue on this side and down here on this flap. Okay. Okay, so there's my cute little pocket and I am going to turn this little pocket into an embellishment and my embellishment of course is going to be a paper clip okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to think about this Okay, so I'm gonna make a paper clip, a flat paper clip, and then we're gonna make we're gonna put that flat paper clip inside. Okay, so I'm going to use this scrap paper. 
I want the large part of the paper clip to be in the back and we'll go ahead and there might be a easier or better way of doing this this is just what I'm gonna do today okay so I'm making a flat paper clip clip I've brought out my fabric tack because it dries quickly and it will keep the paper clip where it is okay okay so my next thing is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to open this and put some glue right here at the top and whoop try make sure you keep it open could even put some plastic in there so that you don't mess it up okay I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to put my flat paper clip in here that I just made up against the back get it in there fast before it dries okay okay and then hold it down feel around and make sure that it's yeah we don't have any glue okay so I've added a paper clip to the back and if you end up with any overhang go ahead and trim it because I don't want that hanging off oh my gosh how cute is that okay so we have an adorable little pocket and I actually have tag that I made and it does I was like and I think it'll fit in there okay or we can make a new tag flinch card will fit in there oh I like that I like that so um, when we get to our day um, I think it's day 10 so we'll put a day a tenth card in there oh my gosh I love it and um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna decorate this and you all know my favorite washi tape is this black and white stripe from Michaels remember when they had all that washi tape in the three for a dollar bin I bought all every time that I, all of them that I could find and then when I got that giant grab bag of washi tapes there was a few of them in there I was so excited I was like wow that's a dollar's worth right there because I would have bought them okay so there's that I have this sticker this is the the um, negative of a heart sticker and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that here okay and then I'm gonna see if I can find my stickers look at this is just a little bit too big but that the tin can go on that and then go in there I like that but I have to find my my ten. Okay, um, let's see. So I want a sticker, and I'm looking for my sticker sheets that we've been using in this journal. It's like everything is everywhere. Well, we have this one. Okay, so this will be what our page is where we are for today box our box of stuff maybe we can maybe it'll be easier if I just pull something out of here oh here there they are okay so that's what I was what I was thinking of okay Grateful. 
so that's what I want. Okay, I'm gonna put grateful on that paper clip. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have the tag that will go in there. So that is my idea for the embellishment using my tool that I've never used before. And next we need to make our tag. And of course it could be, that could be this tag that we're making for here, but we wanted to use this and incorporate that with a tag. So I think we'll go ahead and grab from the pieces that are for the, or from, okay, there's that one, there's that one. These, I, I ended up with extra, remember, because I, um, The first one I had made was was the wrong dimensions. So okay. I think we'll put him on here. Okay. And let's go ahead and see if we can use nope not quite dawn I mean it'll go in there well let's try it it's in there just a little bit too big so of course it's going to be stuck but I can fix it <laughs> okay so if you're a little bit too big expect that it's uh... oh and I we're off centered okay so I'm going to try and center it Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down onto the tag. Um, this tag punch, this is the older tag punch from uh, Hobby Lobby. Another one of my favorite things. Okay, so there we go. We have that. It'll open up. And we can go ahead and put a card in there. Okay. I love it. Okay, so now we need our decorations on the outside. And let's see. I have this butterfly. It's like I need it just barely. I want to be able to put that under there. Now I have discovered it's not like these get opened and closed all the time. So, um, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't need to be as worried about how, <laughs> how this holds. Except for that we want it to go onto the paper. Okay. 
There we go. Seen a couple of monarch butterflies, but not many this year. Last year we had those those beautiful painted butterflies during the summer. Um, it was uh, crazy how many we had. This year we did not have them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the black and white washi again. And this time we will grab the stickers that I put somewhere. My desk is such a mess, too. Such a mess. Okay, we have our Georgia eyelash trim that we can use. Okay, I have this. Okay, so, um, well, I need a third thing on here. I'm going to go ahead and add the washi. So you can see how eclectic my little journal is becoming. I love, I love, love, love how it. Okay, so there's that. And We'll just add this one little fluffy flower. I love I love the fluffy flowers. Oh, we have another one. We're not gonna. I guess we're not gonna fluff them, but we'll put them on top of each other. Okay, and then we'll add a bling. I have a gold. Oh, that's on something. I think we used green earlier. We'll add a green bling. Okay, so this is the faceted bling. So it actually is not like a stone. It's just a hole that is cut to be sparkly. I like it because you're not going to lose anything. Okay, so there's that. And then on this, we can go and do we, another thing I haven't done in a while. Not It's not a tool, but my dot, dot, dot. I love to add the dot, dot, dot. Sometimes you'll see it when I'm writing and things like that. Um, you know, the, and then some, the more, okay, so we'll add the dot, dot, dot down there. Okay. So there is my tag and my embellishment. We just need to add some Georgia eyelash trim. This is one of the hoarded items. I, and this one truly, I, I'm continuing to hoard this one. Okay. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. It's my favorite trim. It was given to me in Happy Mail. And she was telling me about it. And I had her go back and buy all the rest of it that was there. Because um, it was so cool. I love it. I love, I love, I love, I love it. So, okay. And so there's my embellishment. And my tag love them if you're here at the premiere i'm waving hi and say hello to midnight hi midnight
I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first time, just know this is a pre-recorded video, but we are able to have a live chat. We'd love to have you join us there. Just hit that live chat button down there and come on over and say hello. We also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It's a place where you can place your projects and we can all get to know each other. There's also a free digital in the files there. Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. So just so you know, you can find us here every day at 1030. We do a premiere of some crafty fun. Usually it's junk journaling, embellishments, and things like that. But it might be a shopping haul or even Happy Mail. Let's get back to our program. And now let's go ahead and our prompt for today. So we're also doing the October Daily. That way I can get mine done. Because if I separated these out, wouldn't happen. <laughs> what are you grateful for today? Ooh. Well, today is today. <clears throat> and I am very grateful for a, lot of, for a whole lot of things. Where's my journal? Um... But as many of you know, I got to go and watch an air show. Okay, so our air show got canceled. And what they decided is to be to give back to the community and to do f two days of uh, a plane parade. So I went to town so that I could see it yesterday and today it's going to fly over my house so um, or part of it will because one of the things I found out was you know that they they they, they all have different ranges so they, they they flew in different places but I had the perfect spot um, if you are on my Instagram dear Julie Julie I did put the video there, and um, it was just really cool. I love anything that flies, and um, it's one of my favorite things is jets. One of the things I love about living where I live is, you know, they built space shuttles here. They build airplanes. And they test them all the time, and I love it. So, um, so there's there's that, and I'm gonna want to to write about that. But another thing is that I am I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to make this uh, October daily. <laughs> Um, I'm grateful the, for the opportunity to decorate my home. I am grateful for the telephone so that I can keep in contact with my kids. And, and yesterday I was texting with my brother that lives in Bakersfield and able to send him the information because the flyby was also going to be there where he lives. And, um, so... I wanted to make sure that he was able to see that. And so I am grateful for that. So this is going to be very simple. So things that fly right there. We've got a butterfly. And in my video, can you believe it? A dragonfly. A dragonfly showed up. Okay, you guys, if you haven't been around... Um, I have been having dragonflies show up everywhere that I go. Now, it could just be that I'm noticing them. I doubt it because I already noticed them because my Yaya Arlene loves dragonflies and um, they're very special to her, actually. And so... I, I do notice them. It's not like 
I didn't notice them before. I just noticed that I never saw them. And now I'm seeing them everywhere. And it's usually, actually, it's been a red one. And when I did that volunteering thing for those, um, the week and a half, and I was in two different places and saw the red dragonfly. And then yesterday I got it on, on film. <laughs> I'm like, really? This is amazing. Okay, so... So I think it's really awesome to take the time to actually write about what you're thankful for. And so there's going to be a couple times this month that that is one of the prompts. The thing about that I've found about practicing um, gratitude and remembering to actually think about what I'm grateful for is I get to get, then that you notice I didn't start out with my family and my friends and my and and all of you and that's because I practice this every day and I am always grateful for my family and my friends and for all of you and so when that question came up and I thought about it, 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 put, it, it went to today. What is it that um, is different today than most days that was um, brought to my attention or in my, in my life? And sometimes it might be a specific person. It might be a specific um, thing that I get to do, a place that I get to go. It, um, but I just, I wanted to make sure, oh, look at sky, sky. So we'll leave smoke over there. We'll put sky. Oh my gosh. Yesterday we had the most beautiful sunrise. So I'm going to actually put sky on yesterday because I took a picture of it. It was gorgeous. So let's see what was yesterday's. Yesterday's was this one. Stickers. Okay. Oh, fall traditions. Oh, look it. Look at, look at, look at. I saw this just now when we were looking through and trying to find something to put in here. And there is the word change. And remember, I talked yesterday about how our traditions are changing so so much so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll put this you know what I'll put this down here so of course for this it probably meant you know changing leaves and stuff like that but for me it it's the change in um, you know having my parents and everything kind of anchored around them and now them being gone and, and having to come up with new traditions and, and new ways that we do things. So, um, so anyway, here you saw, I added a pocket. Oh, and I should have used my new little pocket punch. Can't now. Dawn. Don't let me forget. I got to use that punch. Cause that, cause you can also use that just on well, we'll just use one, okay? So if you have a pocket coming up that you're going to be using, you can use your little punch and just punch and have your pocket ready. Oh my gosh, is that not just so cool? I'm going to love that tool. You guys, I hadn't even taken it out of the box. So I'm excited because it came out of the box and, and I'm going to like it. Okay, so let's put the flowers like that. Okay, so we have our little paper clip. I added some paper for journaling here. If I need more, I can go ahead. I've still got this paper pad and I can just stack them on top of here um, after I kind of get an idea of what I want to write here. So this is my day 10. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a flinch card today for our day 10. So the flinch cards, again, they're available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop as a digital download. And um, I am going to go ahead and put together a printed version. And what it will be is you will get one set of the full size, one set of um, this size, uh, one, so the full set of the five by seven, three and a half by five, and a wallet set of flinch cards, okay? So our number 10, we were gonna put it up here, but I don't, I think it'll, I think we need it somewhere else as well. So we'll put, we'll use maybe that tag up there after all. You know what, I think we'll put that right down there in the middle, kind of make this flow across. I like that. And then maybe add, I don't know, the hedgehog or porcupine or whatever it is on this particular sticker set. I love hedgehogs. I think they are absolutely adorable. Have you seen some of those memes done with the baby hedgehogs? <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you're a member of Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, did you see the kitten? The little black kitten that somebody dressed up with a witch's hat and a little frilly collar, ribbon collar thing? I was like, do you think Midnight let me do that? I'm going to see because I have, a, I have a hat that will fit her. <laughs> Me and my sister used to dress up our cats, our kittens, actually. Our cats, no. <laughs> Fluffy and Sandy would not have allowed us to. <laughs> actually, maybe they would have, but um, their kittens, yeah, we could dress them. We could dress up their kittens. Okay, so here's our, the hedgehog is really, really cute. He even has a leaf on his head. I like that. I think we'll use him. I'm grateful for things that make me smile. There you go. And go ahead and put this leaf right up there. Okay. So hopefully we will get to see the... Um, the air show go right over my house. I haven't decided. I might, I might get in the car and go just over a block to where there's fields so that I'd be able to see all the way around. I think that might be a good idea. Um, I'm really grateful that I got, I'm really grateful that I got to see the planes and I love the spot that I had yesterday. I had a really good map um, from the, you know, from above. And I could see where their flight plan was. And so I went, there was a place where they were going to go and bank. And so I went and tried to be right in that spot. Um, it ended up that where I was, they were coming like this. And then they banked like that. So if you see those videos, you'll see. It was amazing. It was just amazing. Um, okay, so... There we go. That is our day 10. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put day 10 from last year's video right up here. YouTube's going to give you a video suggestion here that they think you might want to watch. And then over here will be last year's October Daily. Um, do check those out. I also have in the description box the link to the awesome punch board that we used today. Our pocket punch board because... I love pockets and I cannot lie. What did you think? What's your favorite? Let me know. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.